Welcome to the EPSEC Centre for Doctoral Training in Aerosol Science. My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm the director of the Centre for Doctoral Training. I'm going to introduce you in this very brief video to the electronic training portal and, and show you how you can use the resources that are made available to both partners um, and students. The link you're provided with um, by the CDT may bring you to this page. It may bring you to the second page, which we will access in a moment, but I'm going to start from this page just so that you're familiar with it. So I uh, select, type in my username and password. Um, that may then bring me to a second login page. Blackboard is an external website, so on occasions I will need to type it in twice. And indeed, the link direct from the CDT website may bring you directly to this page. When I log in, it brings me to the Blackboard Home page. And midway down the first page, I can see the link to the Aerosol Science CDT course. So if I click on that, that brings me to the home page for the training portal. Depending on how you're registered for access to the training portal, the announcements that you view on this page and the menu items on the left hand side may vary. I'm logged on as a CDT student here and so I see CDT student announcements and see the full range of courses. To access the training materials, you can click on the core aerosol science. That brings you to this web page. On, on this page, we have the division in topics. There's a very brief introduction to the structure of the training, to the 16 topics that are actually available. And we do ask that if you access, access this material and download it, that you um, keep it confidential, that you don't circulate it uh, beyond your own use. So let me go back to uh, the list of topics. Currently, uh, there are uh, here five topics, six topics available. Um, those six topics are the topics that the students have currently received training in. If you're a partner, by um, April 2020, you'll be able to see all 16 topics. If you're a student, you'll be able to see all 16 topics. Partners will be able to access any of the topics at any point during the academic cycle. Um, in this first year, um, obviously the materials for some of the latest topics are still being prepared. Let me open one of the topics and, and look at the form that the topic takes. So um, at the beginning of every topic, there is an introduction to the course tutors. It says a little bit about the various academic staff who have delivered the training. There is a detailed list of the intended learning outcomes, the material that the topic covers. And then we have a sequence of intended learning outcomes. The intended learning outcomes should be progressed through in sequence. I can click on any one of these, starting perhaps with the first one. Each one is composed of a number of elements. Each has a video, and this may be a short lecture. Here we have a, a first lecture, which is 25 minutes, just introducing phase changes and phase diagrams. The PowerPoint slide, slides are also available to download. And then most topics are accompanied by a set of multiple choice questions for you to work through to, to really assess and test your, your understanding of the topic. So um, to progress through the material, it would make sense to then play each lecture. I'm going to skip forward a few minutes here. So generally when you go from ice to liquid to vapor, you um, break bonds and therefore you take energy. There's the opportunity within this to play the video full screen. You can pause a video at any point. You can skip between sections and that allows you to interact with the video and, and at various points and pause if you wish to um, review your learning. As I indicated, um, you can also click through to multiple choice questions each of the intended learning outcomes is, is supported by multiple choice questions. I would perhaps select, you know, work through the problem, select the answer. Then I would hit the arrow here to progress to the next question. 
And then once I've completed the questions, I would have the opportunity to see how I've done and to receive feedback and help with any of the problems that I've, I've not been completed correctly. I'm going to leave that page without saving changes at this point. Okay, so that's the, the broad structure of the training um, and, and the division into the different topics. Depending again on your registration, you may have access to kind of additional individual readiness assurance tests if you're going to attend the in-person training events and the application exercises if you're attending the in-person training events. In addition, um, to the core aerosol science training and you have access to webinars. What I'm uh, showing you here are the um, early webinars um, hosted by the CDT. Click on, on that link. That brings me to um, the webinars which have already been delivered during um, the uh, CDT um, first teaching block in 2019 and this will grow over time and so again I can play any Just one of these videos you see this and, and listen to the webinar uh, in uh, the at any point reference to machine learning so it's entering our vernacular again there may be other options for you if you're a student you may have ac access to the welcoming induction week materials again containing videos of the presentations and also uh, slides and PDFs of, of important files. And that really concludes all I need to, to do to, to introduce you to the ePortal.